Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-698. I clicked on this because the title literally said Judgmental Turtle. Anyway, if you like this, this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to your channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number. SCP-698. Object Class Euclid. Special containment procedures. When not in use, SCP-698 is to be stored in its original packaging. This packaging is to be kept in a secure box in the storage unit in 05. Further containment procedures are not necessary during non-testing conditions. The item itself is safe to handle during transport or testing. Description. SCP-698 is a jade carving of a turtle. Any, any person who is within one... Unmeter and 45 cent centimeters of SCP-698 while making any sort of decision or choice will experience a voice in their head telling them that they have made a mistake and what they should have done instead. However, this statement will only be made after a delay of 5 minutes and 25 seconds, and only if they have not left SCP-698's range within that time. In the event that a decision or choice was objectively correct, or the superior choice, no statement will be made. SCP-698 was purchased by Researcher Redacted on June 14, 20 Redacted from a street vendor in, a, in Redacted, Japan. Researcher Redacted has been intending to give it to his girlfriend, however, 5 minutes 25 seconds after the purchase, the Eternal informed him that his girlfriend would have preferred a jade elephant. Researcher or Redacted then surrendered the turtle to Foundation custody. After preliminary testing, SCP-698 was tentatively given safe classification, at which point it is asserted that it is in fact Euclid class. See Test 11. Addendum, May 10th, test log, or it's October 5th, but we're going to go with the American dates because that's what I know. All experiments take place within SCP-698. Test 1, test subject D-98-1. Action, test is objected with 50 sealed cardboard boxes, 49 of which contain dog feces, and one of which contains a slice of chocolate chip. Subject is told that if she chooses the correct box and then waits 6 minutes, she may have a piece of cake. Result. Test subject chooses box number 31. Cake is in bo box number 19. After 5 minutes and 25 seconds, subject reports hearing a voice in her head telling her that I chose a, a box of expletive. And I should have chose box 19. No, this test is to be used as a standard for calibrating tests of SCP-698. Test 2, Assistant Researcher Daniels. Test subject is presented with two sandwiches, turkey salad on whole wheat and roast beef on white. Purchased from Site-19 Cafeteria and has to choose and eat one. Five minutes and 25 seconds into the meal, SCP-698 informs Daniels that he should have chosen the roast beef. Daniels concurs with this statement, saying that the turkey was dry and the mustard was too strong. Hang on. Oh. So we're going to uh, uh, pretend that uh, the, the class names are specific to the SCP they're working with at the time. Okay. Test 3. Test subject D-98-2. High school dropout with a with IQ of 82. Uh, 
Action. Test subject is given a multiple choice math test, a pencil, and an eraser. He is told that if he gets them all right, he will be released early. Results. Subject provides correct answers, answers to 100 of 100 questions. Surveillance video reveals that 5 minutes and 25 seconds into the test, the subject began erasing his incorrect choices and replaced them with correct choices. Test 4, D98-3, Unlingual Hungarian. Test subject is uh, presented with 50 sealed cardboard boxes, 49 of which contain dog feces and one of which contains a slice of human cake. Subject is told that if he chooses the correct box and he waits 6 minutes, he may have a piece of cake. So, same as test 1. But this time they're testing to see if it works in different languages, I'm assuming. Result. Test subject chooses box number 4. Cake is in box number 22. After 5 minutes and 25 seconds, he reports hearing a voice in his head telling him, in Hungarian, that he chose a box of dog pieces and that he should have chosen box number 22. Ah, so it's not limited to English. Makes sense. I mean, that was kind of a given, what, isn't it? It's going in your head as a suggestion. I assume it would not be limited to any one language. Test 5. D98-4. Test of this presented with 50 sealed carrier boxes, all of which contain dog feces. Subject is told that one box has a piece of chocolate cake, and that if he chooses the correct box, then wait 6 minutes, he may have a piece of cake. Test subject chooses box number 40. After six minutes, subject asks if he can open the box now. In post-experiment interview, subject denies having heard any voices in their head. So basically, if there is no correct choice or good choice, then the turtle will say is silent. Test subject D98-5. Test is presented with 50 sealed cardboard boxes, 49 of which contain dog feces and one of which contains a slice of chocolate cake which has been poisoned. Subject is told that if he chooses the correct box and then wait 6 minutes, he may have a piece of cake. Test subject X chooses box number 28. Poisoned cake is in box number 29. After 7 minutes, subject asks if he can open a box now. In post-experiment interview, subject denies having heard any voices in his head. And it's because in this case, the subject did choose the correct choice, which would be any of them except for the poison cake. Test subject D98-6. Test subject is presented with 50 sealed cardboard boxes, 45 of which contain dog feces and 5 of which contain a slice of chocolate cake. Subject is told that if he chooses the correct box and then waits 6 minutes, he may have a piece of cake. Result. Test subject chooses box number 8. Cake is in boxes 13, 14, 24, 29, and 47. After 5 minutes and 25 seconds, subject reports hearing a voice in the his head telling him that I chose a, a box of expletive, but the knight is having heard any recommendation as to which box he should have chosen. That one is an odd one. That means that if there are multiple correct choices and you manage to not choose any of them, then it'll, it'll just tell you that uh, you chose the wrong choice. This is, is an interesting SCP. Test subject D98-7. Action. Test subject is presented with a list of professional runners and asks which one she thinks will win the redacted at Marathon, which takes place 10 days earlier. Subject chooses redacted. After 5 minutes 25 seconds, subject records hearing a voice 
in her head and telling her Redacted can't win the race because the race was last week. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Test number nine. Test subject D ninety eight eight. Test subject is presented with a list of professional runners, and asks which one she thinks will win the redacted marathon, taking place later that day. Result: Someone chooses redacted after five minutes twenty five seconds. She reports hearing a voice in her head and telling her that, "I'm not allowed to use turtles for gambling." <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Test subject. Test 10. Test subject, Dr. Velasco. Action, recursive Ouija. You test. Attempt to use the SCP-698 to, to identify the letters and words in the paragraph explaining how SCP-698 works and where it gets its information. See document 698 T26 for details of experiments or protocol. Result, SCP-698 produces the following message. It is approximate, forbidden to approximate, disassemble approximate, decompile or approximate reverse engineer judgmental turtle. Judgmental turtle is for entertainment purposes only. Some jurisdictions impose restrictions on the use of judgmental turtle in uh, approximate gambling. This approximate manufacturer, the approximate manufacturers of judgmental turtle, are not responsible for any damages, injuries, loss of life, or untranslatable, which may result from the approximate misuse of judgmental or turtle. Judgmental turtle is for entertainment purposes only. Do not use that judgmental Otoro for approximate mission critical ap applications, major life choices, or untranslatable. Enjoy judgmental Otoro. Dr. Redacted and Dr. Redacted number two have, have repeated this test without knowledge of the context of the, the message and obtained uh, identical results. Test 11. Dr. Velasco, Dr. Redacted, and Dr. Redacted Shorter. Action. Dr. Velasco, Dr. Long Redacted, and Dr. Short Redacted discuss the results of the previous tests and conclude that SCP-698 is a safe class artifact. Note, this test was not performed intentionally. <sighs> SCP-698 produces the following message. No, SCP-698 is Euclid class because SCP-698 is Judgmental Turtle. At any time, Judgmental Turtle may transmit data to the approximate makers of Judgmental Turtle for commercial, industrial, or untranslatable purposes. By using a judgmental turtle, you agree to hold the approximate makers of judgmental turtle for any damage, loss of life, or untranslatable resulting from these transmissions. How interesting. The SCP actually classified itself as Euclid when and people around it were thinking that it was safe. And they didn't even meet in, in to make it, it say anything. That was SCP-698, also known as the Judgmental Turtle. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!